Birds do color in so many different ways. You have the blues and purples and the iridescences of hummingbirds. Meanwhile, the yellows, reds, and oranges. And so what this project is gonna do is basically for the first time, bring a whole bird, full spectrum approach to the study of bird color. I'm John McCormick. I'm the director and curator of the Moore Laboratory of Zoology at Occidental College. The Moore Lab is a research center with a vintage bird collection, 65,000 specimens, most of them collected between 1930 and 1955. And we are the largest Mexican bird collection in the world. Having a large bird collection like this at a small liberal arts college like Occidental is definitely unique. We definitely have the highest bird to student ratio of our peer institutions. The goal of this project is to digitize and create 3D models for 2,000 bird specimens representing diversity from all over the bird tree of life and make them accessible to whoever might want to use them in science and education. So the importance of these 3D models is really obvious when you start talking about rare specimens. And one of the ones we have here is the passenger pigeon. So this is a bird that was once the most common bird in the entire United States. There were billions of them. And they were basically hunted to, to extinction. And the last one went extinct in a zoo in 1914. There's maybe only a thousand of these specimens left and this is not something we would loan or send out for research. And so if you, you wanna see it, now you're gonna be able to in a 3D model. So far we're at about 100 specimens, so we've got a long way to go. And now what we've, we're doing is moving on to basically a subsample of all birds on Earth. And we are sampling one bird from every genus for about 2,000 specimens, so we can get a nice cross sampling of the bird tree of life. Looking at one of these specimens online, it's kind of surreal because you see the specimen kind of like you would a specimen in your hand, but then as you begin to zoom in closer, it's like you are revealing new levels of detail that you couldn't possibly see with your eye. I love birds, I guess, for the same reason that everybody else does. All the colors, the different forms, the behaviors, and their personalities. Birds are living dinosaurs that come to feeders in our backyard. What's not to love about that? And for a scientist, all of that wonder translates to a lifetime of research questions. <laughs>